Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Nakus Helping Hands workstation with lighted magnifier. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. Let's get this open. Here we have the manual. Here are the specs. It says magnifying glass is 4.3 inch. 5x and 10x magnification has 10 brightness levels max clamping is 2.7 inches then we have the voltage swing arm and base dimensions you can read through those this talks about using the light i'll go over that in the video this talks about using the clamp so the lighted magnifier can be clamped to a surface or you can use the base that comes with it comes with a cloth to clean your lens there's the magnifier and the clamp so i'll be demonstrating this today with the base but it also comes with this clamp and this is a really nice clamp here so this has foam on the top surface the back and then it has rubber on the clamping surface you can clamp this to a surface like this and have it come out the top you can clamp it to a vertical surface like such and you can have it come out the top here or you can clamp it to the side of something and have it come out here so this is a three-way clamp very versatile and there's the magnifier you can see there's 5 and 10x magnification this is the power supply this is 5 volts at 2 amps peel the plastic off here these are the alligator clips for the helping hands, and these are the helping hand arms. I'll get those in a second. Let me pull the base out. So here we have the base. So the whole bottom is lined with foam, and we have a hole there for mounting the light. Has the branding there. Let me get this out of the package. This is the post for mounting the light on this base. So let me move this out of the way. So it comes with a hex key. I'll remove this screw. I'll stick the screw through the bottom, and I'll tighten this post down. So now the magnifier can fit in here, and there's a thumb screw to tighten it down. Let me get these arms out. So these have magnets on the bottom, and there's plastic on them to help from scratching the surface. So these will fit on like so. And we have these clamps. So it has four of these and five clamps, so it comes with an extra clamp in case you misplace one. There's a thumb screw here. I'll put that in. Put the clamp in. Now these alligator clips look like they have a little shrink wrap over the jaws here to pad the surface. So I'll get all four of these installed. Okay, I have everything connected up here. So we have the magnifier. This is the control. The bottom button is on and off. The second from the top is color temperature. So this is warm. This is the bluer or the cooler temperature. And this is the whiter temperature. And then we can dim it with the plus and minus. So this has 10 levels of dimness, like so. So I tend to like the white with the highest brightness, so we'll leave it at that. Move these out of the way. So now we can adjust this. There's a thumb screw on the back side here. We can rotate this around and lock it into position. There's also a thumb screw here on this middle part. Usually you can move this, but if you need to tighten it or loosen it, you can do that. So now we can move the magnifier up and down. And you can see it stays at the same angle. Now this can also be extended out, like so. So you don't have to use it with the base. So if your project is bigger than this base, you can extend it out further. Now if I push on this, this will lift up a little bit. You could weight this down if you needed to. You could also clamp it to a surface, which will hold it. But it will more or less hold the weight. And actually, if I move all these over here, that would be enough weight. So I'll pull that back up. Of course, the big thing with this is it has the helping hands that you can use with the lighted magnifier. So I'll take a circuit board here. Now this is not actually something I'd work on. It's just something I had lying around. It's from a hard drive. So I'll clamp that in in a couple spots. Of course, if you're doing some soldering, typically you will have a couple of them hold your board and you might have some other ones hold wires or components or things. And here we have the magnifying glass up. Now it's always kind of hard to show magnification on camera. I'll do my best. Okay, so I'm focused in on that chip here. So you can see the magnification there. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to get the higher magnification to show up on camera, let me see. Let's try that. So you can see the M on that chip. Move it out of the way. 
There we go. So it's nice that this has that dual magnification. So if you're working on a board like this, you could use a general magnification for doing most things. But if you had a model number on a chip that was really tiny, you could use the higher magnification to potentially read it. So here's an example of reading the numbers on that chip through the 10x magnification. So I handheld the camera there. When you're looking at this with your head, you can easily move your head around to look inside the magnifier with the camera. It's harder to line it up. But if I take the magnifier away, there's no way I can read those numbers. So that's the Nikus Helping Hand Workstation with Lighted Magnifier. A workstation like this is great for doing crafts, electronics, anything where you're doing precision work. I like that this has dual magnification, so you can use it for general magnification and then for getting into really fine details. Now since you have this nice bright LED light, you can even use this as a lamp. So maybe you don't always need magnification. You can actually just pull this off and use it as a reading light. You could use it as a task light. You could potentially even shine this at a wall as kind of an accent light. And then it has these four helping hands so you can position your work exactly how you like it and it's very sturdy having the four helping hands so that's all i'm going to cover in this video if you have any questions please leave them in the comments if you like this video please click like if you haven't subscribed to my channel i'd appreciate if you could do that and thanks for watching until next time goodbye